All right, you'll be turning your Bible to the book of Ruth tonight. And the book of Ruth right after Judges and right before 1 Samuel. The way I remember that, I quote myself, the four, the five books of Moses we call the Pentateuch, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, then Joshua and Judges, and then comes Ruth, and then 1 and 2 Samuel. So I remember that to help myself find the book of Ruth. But we'll start our study on this evening. I call it the four-chapter book of Ruth. And uh, what we're going to do for the most part on this evening is give an introduction to this four-chapter book of Ruth. That'll help me get started and we'll read the first chapter. And throughout the week we'll finish reading the four chapters and look at some of these great truths that are laid out in the Bible. I've labeled this study several aspects or applications to understanding the book of Ruth. And a lot of good biblical truth we can glean from, from this, these passages for this week of study. And uh, the last time I was here, I, if my memory corrects me, we, I thought surely that's what the Lord allowed me to teach on. So when Brother Hicks called me, I uh, settled this is what the Lord wants us to have for our lessons this week. So pretty much tonight we'll introduce this book and get underway for the next lesson. One lesson following the other to help us understand some of it by repetition. Uh, picked it up a long time ago. The art of learning is repetition. We sometimes sang the same, sang the same songs, and that's the way we do with the Bible. Just go over it and over it. After a while, sometimes we don't get it the first time, and the second time it dawns in on us. And I've tried to refer to the studying the Bible as like a puzzle. Get a little here and a little there, and after a while it begins to fall together. So I hope you'll pray for us. We're going to start on this evening by prayer, which we'll do each evening, and then we'll bring this lesson. Father, we come to thank you on this evening for the grace of our Lord Jesus. Lord, your grace that has reached down where we could not reach up. Lord brought us up and brought us out and brought us in to the great family and the fold of God. Lord, we thank you for your goodness on this evening. Lord, your goodness that led us to repentance. <clears throat> Lord, we can say on this evening that you are a good God. Lord, you've never done us any wrong. Lord, you sent your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus, Send him into this world and let him die on the old rugged cross to redeem our poor soul from sin and from loss. And I pray now, Lord, as we enter the pages of this King James Bible, this preserved Word of God, Lord, I pray that you'll give us a heart of understanding. Lord, may you show us the things of Christ and make them real to our heart. Lord, may we not leave this place this week. Lord, without you, write to a word on our hearts. And Lord, make it a reality. And I pray you'll bless the lesson now as we begin on this evening. Help us, Lord, to say those sayings which you won't say. And I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, as I said, we're going to read the first chapter. And uh, for the lesson tonight, that will help me get a starting place and loosen up my throat somewhat. And we do not know as with authority who's the penman of this book of Ruth, but I'm convinced my personal view it was Samuel. And I don't have anything to back that up, but that is my personal opinion. But anyway, I often say this Bible was written by men and authored by God. The Holy Spirit wrote it. Holy men as they were moved on by the Holy Ghost, 2 Peter 1, 21. And the writer, writing under inspiration of the Holy Ghost in verse 1, said, Now it came to pass 
In the days when the judges ruled. Here's the period of time for the setting of this study we're going to do this week. When the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. And the name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife, Naomi, and the name of his two sons, Maphlon and Shelon, Ephraites of Bethlehem, Judah, and they came into the country of Moab and continued there. And Elimelech, and Naomi's husband, died, and she was left of her two sons. And they took them wives of the women of Moab. The name of the one was Orpha, and the name of the other Ruth. And they dwelled there about ten years. And Malon and Shelon died also, both of them, and the woman was left of her two sons and her husband. Then she arose with her daughters-in-law that she might return from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab how that the Lord had visited his people in giving them bread. Wherefore she went forth out of the place where she was and her two daughters-in-law with her. They went on the way to return unto the land of Judah, and Naomi said unto her two daughters-in-law, Go return each to her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you. As ye have dealt with the dead and with me, the Lord grant you that he may find that you may find rest. Each of you in the house of her husband, then she kissed them, and they lifted up their voice and wept. They said unto her, Surely we will return with thee unto thy people. And Naomi said, Turn again, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Are there not yet more sons in my womb that they may be your husbands? Turn again, my daughters. Go your way, for I am too old. I have a husband. If I should say I have hope, if I should have a husband also tonight and should also bear sons, would you tarry for them till they were grown? Would you stay for them from having husbands? Nay, my daughters, for it grieveth me much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord is gone out against me. And they lifted up their voice and wept again, and Orpha kissed her mother-in-law. But Ruth clave unto her. And she said, Behold, thy sister-in-law is gone back unto her people, and unto her gods return thou after thy sister-in-law. And Ruth said, And drink me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee, for whither thou goest I will go, and where thou lodgest I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, thy God my God. Wherefore thou diest, where thou diest will I die, and where will I be there be buried, the Lord do so to me, and more also. If aught but death part thee and me, when she saw that she was steadfastly minded to go with her, then she left speaking unto her. So they two went until they came to Bethlehem. And it came to pass when they were come to Bethlehem that all the city was moved about them, and they said, Is this Naomi? And she said unto them, Call me not Naomi, call me Mara, for the Almighty had dealt very bitterly with me. I went out full, and the Lord hath brought me home again empty. Why then call ye me Naomi? See him. The Lord hath testified against me, and the Almighty hath afflicted me. So Naomi returned, and Ruth the Moabitess, her daughter-in-law with her, which returned out of the country of Moab, and they came to Bethlehem in the beginning 